So I got a question for you today about procrastination. What have you been putting off? What's that one thing that you know is nagging you to get done? What is it? Think about it for a second because that's the thing leading into other areas of your life. For example, I had recently sent my book to someone to read. This was eight months ago. It's 120 pages. And although she was very excited when she purchased it, she hasn't even read the book fully. She says she's uh, gotten through a few pages, but eight months. And I asked so, her, what is it about procrastination in her life that maybe has kept her from finishing things? And I didn't mention the book, but she brought it up. The fact is, though, is that she feels that she has too much time that she doesn't have a, a regular job. She is looking, but at the same time, she's building her online presence. So she says she has too much time and she needs structure in order to follow through. Okay, I get that. And if she listened to that statement, she'd notice that she has become a slave to letting someone else tell her what to do rather than taking responsibility for her own day and creating a sense of urgency to get it done. I gave her the advice that she needs to create an alter ego. Someone who doesn't let anybody get away with anything. And this particular alter ego is the one that you have to listen to. It's kind of weird. Something that I've helped a few people with. You got to kind of look at things as separate from you. And procrastination is just a version of yourself that's in control. Who basically wants to just sleep or put things off or watch a TV show rather than get the thing done. And there's a part of you, that part, the procrastination part, that believes that doing the thing is just too much work right now. Like doing the dishes. So easy to do. Also, very easy not to do. Think about procrastination right underneath here. Some of the things that maybe you're procrastinating on. If you need some help, maybe a perspective or two, I could give it to you. Sometimes it helps to have a perspective from someone else's point of view to allow us to see it in a new light because we're stuck in the thing. So I hope this finds everybody well, and we'll talk soon. Peace. <laughs>